Assalamu alaikum. Come on, give me a round of applause. What do you think? Okay. Thank you, thank you. As I said yesterday, as, a, as Muslims, we always recognize those who are friendly to us and those who are, want to be our friends. And I'm pleased to say today that at the Global Peace and Unity event 2008, we are, I am pleased to announce that the Minister of, of the Year, we looked at the ministers within the cabinet, and this would be done every year, inshallah, regardless who's in power. The government of the day, we look at the ministers and their attitudes towards the Muslim community. And those who are nice to us, we want to recognize them. I know many of our fellow Muslims, maybe they do not know what is going on behind the scenes, but somehow there are a few friends out there and we want to recognize them. I am pleased to announce that the Global Peace and Unity event 2008 Minister of the Year Award this year goes to Stephen Timms, MP. Stephen Timms is the Member of Parliament for East Ham, a constituency with one of the highest numbers of Muslims in the country. In January 2008, Stephen Timms was appointed Minister of State for Employment and Welfare Reform at the Department for Work and Pensions. Since 2007, in June, Stephen Timms was the first ever Labour Party Vice Chair for Faith Groups and is presently working with different religious communities across the country. In recent years, Stephen Timms was appointed Chief Secretary to the Treasury and subsequently Minister of State for Competitiveness at the newly created Department for Business, Enterprise and Regulatory Reform. Apart from his ministerial responsibilities, Stephen Timms has concentrated on two main areas, regeneration of East London and Christian socialism. He continues to work towards building united communities through his religious and political beliefs and has been a founding member of Muslim Friends of Labour, publishing the monthly Mosque Update for the Labour Party. I think uh, Brother Mohammed has um, given us a bit of a background of this wonderful personality that is uh, standing beside us. Um, Stephen has been truly a wonderful friend of the Muslim community. A great man to work with, someone who has supported us in many of the activities, whether it's to do with the discrimination, and as he rightly pointed out, in terms of the role of the faith community in the society that we live in, he has been instrumental in giving that important recognition to the faith communities in the UK which has enabled us as Muslim community to play our due role. So once again, congratulations to Steve, uh, Stephen Thames for receiving this wonderful award, and I'm sure we'll also hear from them as well. Well, uh, Mohammed Iqbal, friends, let me simply express my thanks for that very, those very kind words and for the very generous uh, recognition, undeserved, um, in the award that I've just received. I've been uh, delighted to be part of these events uh, over uh, four years. I welcome warmly the contribution that the Islam Channel uh, and many individuals at this event are making in my community and other communities around the UK. And what I'd ask is that all of us continue to work together to make sure increasingly that Britain becomes the kind of place that every single one of us wants it to be. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.